I chose this book, uh, which is titled uh, Au Coeur de l'Ethnie, uh, meaning uh, at the heart or at the core of ethnicity. It's a collective book that was uh, edited uh, by French anthropologist uh, Jean-Louis Amsel and uh, Congolese historian, now based in France, Elikiam Bokolo. Um, it was published in the 1980s uh, and um, it was published in some languages, for example, uh, I have a copy in Italian, but unfortunately not in English. Uh, nevertheless, it became quite quickly a small classic because it constitutes a quite effective critique of uh, the categories of uh, ethnic identity and ethnicities. And the different authors show how uh, ethnic identities and ethnic classifications and categorization are uh, the result of uh, historical and uh, political processes uh, where, for example, colonialism played an important role. And in this, the book is quite interesting because it provides material for reflection on several cases that would uh, then explode in the following decade. In the 90s, we have a resurgence of conflict in Eastern DRC, for example. We have a political crisis in Cote d'Ivoire that would later lead to a civil war. Uh, but especially in 1994, we have uh, uh, the Rwandan genocide. Uh, so somehow I think that the lesson we can uh, learn from this book is that uh, ethnic uh, identities and categorizations uh, are real at a certain level and they produce uh, very strong and sometimes tragic consequences, but they should always be analyzed in terms of uh, um, results of political uh, processes rather than explanatory factors. Actually, at the entrance of our library, we have a, a reproduction of a map that could help us understand what the authors mean. Uh, when they problematize ethnic group. Let's go see it. This is a map uh, drawn by ethnolinguist George Peter Marduk in 1959. And it's a map I was shown in an introductory course in anthropology uh, during my undergraduate studies. Uh, the teacher provoked us a little bit in uh, seeing how borders would look like if we, instead of uh, thinking of Africa as a group of uh, modern nation-states, would think it in terms of a group of polities and traditional uh, political entities or ethnic groups instead. But the authors in this book are telling us that these borders drawn on this map might be as controversial and problematic as the nation-state borders that we find nowadays in Africa. For example, I conducted my research in this area where we can see there's a much more ethnic differentiation and uh, density. Uh, this is located uh, along the border between Burkina Faso and Côte d'Ivoire. And uh, I was doing my research in this small group uh, here in small, it's written Komono. It's an ethnic denomination that when I found myself on the ground, I discovered was much more problematic and uh, internally differentiated than I thought. And then a map like this would make me think. Um, yeah, so after all, it might be not the best idea to redesign politically Africa in that way either.